checking the curtains in the morning and you can see that there's a little bit of light coming in. I think I want a little bit more coverage but not completely all black so maybe like another layer because this morning light came through these holes and usually it comes down and just gets all over my face and it stays on my face so it's not cute so this morning it was just kind of like a little blurred lights coming through so I want to cover some more but it's super cute on the road right now a little bit of traffic and I'm going to be dropped off at a shopping center while Mr. Q goes to a business meeting he's also listening to um, the crazy guy about law school I mean I think he's crazy because he sounds pretty crazy but I'm pretty sure he's not. Anyway, um, today is the official day where Mr. Kewell starts law school. He's just been like listening to podcasts and getting a background of law school, but today is the actual day. So let's tomorrow document that. Tomorrow. Oh, Thursday. tomorrow? Yeah. How come last night you told me it was t tomorrow, which is today? No, last night was past midnight. Okay, so let's do that tomorrow. But uh, right now we're heading out to a important business meeting and I will buy my curtains. The ones that are not too blacked out because I still want to see the world. Traffic is starting to lighten up, especially in this area. The exit right here is where Universal Studios is at, Lancashire, where I used to go every single, every other month for for uh, Paris by Night and Asia rehearsals. Ah, oh, memory lane. I just got dropped off at the mall. I feel like I'm in high school again. <laughs> being tossed around. The mall is quite empty because people are shopping online, but I think I see a shop that I want to go to. Let's go to Sephora over there. Break my bank. Okay, luckily today I did not find anything. I'm going to head out. Thank goodness. Everything is sold out or not in stock. Here at Pottery Barn and look at this. This is marble place card holders. Super cute. And look at this. Salt and pepper. Oh my god. So cute. And we got fake fire. Oh my god, I love home stuff. We got soft, soft pillows here, but you know, I can't buy this because people will damage it when they come over. And here are the draperies. Hopefully they're not too pricey. It says there's a sale. This color is so cute, but look, $229. Next stop is Z Gallery. I'm feeling very homey today. Oh my god. Can I just live here? Seriously. This is house heaven. Okay, so this is why I'm attached to my pillows because this right here, all these fur pillows, $99 a piece. <sighs> cool wine glasses. Oh my god. Obsessed. I want, I want, I want. Let's see how much. Come on. Nine dollars a piece. Not bad. Shot glasses. With a top that has drinks inside. Very cute. And here, so cool. Champagne glasses. And do not put your drinks down. These are all my friends who are super foul. Don't waste it. Super, super cute. These are stirs. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I have to have this. Look. Cool. Oh my god. I want them all. Alright. Getting out of here and... I've done some damage. The gallery. Let's look for Mr. Kuo. He said he's around this area. Found him. Got you something. Aren't you excited? I hope they're not pants. They are not, jeez. Don't you just love a man who loves it when you shop? <laughs> huh? Shop for me? Of course. Nothing in there for you? It's for us. See gallery? For us. This is for Latin. Is that house stuff? Yes, it is. Oh my gosh. Oh <laughs> 2 45 p.m., and it's now lunchtime. Getting my 
veggies all set up, jalapenos, garlic, and sauce from the market I got the other day. We are going to have Coden barbecue, homemade. And I got the grill going, and that butter I bought the other day, the French butter. Thinly sliced beef, and it's already done in a jiffy. Time to eat. Bon appetit. Thank you. Welcome. And of course, we have to have our cauliflower rice. Diet starts today. Mr. Kiwo is not fitting his clothes anymore. I tried to buy him clothes, but he refused to go up a size. And in case this is too hard to wrap, you can always wrap it with spring rolls, but that's carbs, so stay away. I'm gonna try one just so I know what it tastes like. Looking pretty good. There's my spring roll right here. Starting on a second batch of beef. I turn around for a moment and it's almost gone. What happened to no spring rolls for you, huh? I don't put it in my face. Oh my god, mm -hmm. I put it in my area. Rude. Look at that. Perfectly made spring rolls. Just a tad of carbs. Oh, look at my nails. Tacky. These are the two last ones. This is chadol and this is a prime ribeye. What was the first one? I don't know. This is the best one. First one was the prime kosal. I don't know what that is, but go to the Korean market. Okay, so. This is my style of a Korean and Vietnamese spring roll mixed together. I think it's better than uh, shabu shabu and Vietnamese spring rolls because I feel like I've got my own veggies. The sauces aren't as weird and I cooked them myself so I might be a little bit biased. <laughs> There's really not much to spring rolls. It's just some good veggies, quality meats, good sides, fire, you're good to go. If you put like weird veggies on the side then it's a no-no. That's what we had the other day. They had pineapples. They had like daikon. They had cabbage. They had the red cabbage. They had like, what is it? Like weird radish. I don't know, it was just weird. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. This, right here, pretty badass. Okay, so now moving on to the more important things. Shopping from Z Gallery. To show you what I got. Super excited. I saw it and I instantly had to buy it. It was just something I have to have and mainly because I like to celebrate successes and things with my boo-boo. Look how awesome this is. Does that fill the whole bottle of wine? I don't know but it's very cool and don't you start with me. And there's this one. Super cute. How come that's different? Cause it's different. I see, I see one. Yeah. Mr. Kiwo is just rolling his eyes, annoyed. But you know what? When we celebrate, he's gonna want to use this. <laughs> How cool is this? Okay, so I got these three, and then I think there's one more. I only bought pears because it's only me and Mr. Kiwo and if I buy more, my friends will come and break it and I don't want that. So this is only for special people. Look at that. This is super awesome. So I bought pairs of each and every single time we are here, we want to relax, we want to chill, we want to celebrate, we're going to use these. How awesome. I love it. Like, I love it. I have this flute right here, and I was in love with it for a long time, but since I saw this, like, seriously, like, look at it. Amazing! And then, also, I fell in love with this one that I got on Amazon, and then I saw this one, and I was like, whoa, I want this one. And then, now, <laughs> I see this one. Like, seriously. <laughs> Super excited. Anywho, this is my collection. Let me show you guys a bunch of wine glasses for all the whining I'll be doing. Literally. Now go away. Go back, get back to work. He's giving me a weird look. <laughs> Super cute, isn't it? Mr. Q, which one do you like the most? You. You're the biggest container of wine. Mm-hmm. 
I'll take that as a compliment. Like, literally obsessed. <laughs> oh my goodness. I want to show you guys again because I'm still obsessed. Here we go. Tallest to fun size. Yay! Awesome! Deliveries. Trouble has been delivered. Let's see what we got here. We have cooking stuff. This is a Cuisinart, a Cuisinart Griddler 5, so 5 in 1 Griddler. And this is Hamilton Beach Searing Grill. My own home barbecue system. What are you cooking? Getting hungry. I think you need to diet. Look at that really. Yeah, test this out. Mm-hmm. Which one do you want to test out first? Um, this one. Let's test out this one. Here it is. Fully assembled indoor grill. So outdoor indoor grill. Let's see how this performs. We are going to do chicken from Costco once again. Test its performance. And we like it, we'll keep it. If not, back to the store. Okay, we know that it heated up really fast and now it's on the grill. Exciting. Let's check on it. Ooh, look at all that grill marks. Looking good. Dinner is served. Let's turn this thing off. And uh, we got salsa with it from Costco and I'm going to eat it with jalapenos and garlic. I'm not gonna eat it with this because that's for Korean barbecue and we got some salads. Ready, time to eat. Bon appetit. Test out the chicken. Looks pretty good. Nice grill marks. Look at that. Burnt to perfection. Can you? Let's focus here. Perfection. And still sizzling. What'd you think? Yay or nay? Good, soft. No, I'm talking about the grill. Yeah, you judge by how you put it. So far, good. Hopefully, the cleanup's easy. Yeah. So that will be a big determination. So far, I like the grill, the outdoor indoor grill, right here. You can slide this in and out. This is the tray where all the grease drips down and all that good stuff. So it's collecting it all here and it's very easy. You just pull it out and then put this in the dishwasher. It is all dishwasher safe, so that's a plus. And this, you just kind of pull up. It's kind of hot right now, so just pull up. You get another napkin, huh? And then put it into the dishwasher. This, put it in there. And then last step is this. Take it out and put it in the dishwasher. From all that grilling, you can see that in here it's still kind of like dirty. So be sure to wipe that down because you can't really wash this stuff. It's like electric, okay? So just wash, wipe it down with some damp cloth or a Clorox wipe. But I think I'm gonna keep it. I think it's really nice and, you know, not too much like work. I think it's very cute. Super mini, just like me. So that means it's fun size. Very cool, so that's all you need to do. Just wipe out the edges. Make sure it's nice and cleaned in here. What I read on the internet, on Amazon, I got this on Amazon by the way, is that even though everything is dishwasher safe, people recommend to wash the grill because it has like a, like a non-stick coating to it. So after a few washes and it's too harsh, it'll kind of like come off. So it's better to just hand wash it. So maybe I'll do that. But these, you can easily put it in. Alrighty, today has been a long eventful day. I'm super stuffed. Um, gonna watch a movie real quick. And then go to sleep. It's about 11.15 p.m. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys tomorrow.
Don't forget to like and subscribe. Heavy duty wash in the dishwasher. And check it out. Nice and clean. This one as well. Very, very nice. A approved. Let's check this one too. This one probably has a lot of like stuff on the lid. Dang. Looking good. Definitely unmint approved.